everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and today I am going to be discussing a little bit of, well not a little bit, a lot of bit of Becky responding to the things that Amber Lynn has been saying about them on Instagram in recent history. I did a whole video about Amber Lynn's initial response, so you can go watch that if you want the full details, but the too long, didn't watch, didn't read, didn't keep up with whatever Amber Lynn Reed was doing on Instagram, is that she basically said in response to somebody on Instagram that Becky didn't seem concerned that there were issues going on and that overall, if Becky had been more concerned, Amber Lynn may have been more likely to go get things checked out or something along those lines. I am paraphrasing a bit. Again, I have like the specific receipts and things like that in the video that I did. And also a thing that a lot of people were upset about is Amber Lynn was saying that if Wifey had been her girlfriend at the time, that she would have sought care sooner, that Wifey would have forced her to go because, uh, you know, hypotheticals, hypotheticals, right? Like, we could totally know what Wifey would have done in that situation, even though Wifey was not even a, a blip on Amberlynn's radar at the time. So, Becky finally did respond to somebody. Becky had posted a community post just letting people know, like, why they hadn't been uploading, things like that. And let me just say, Becky has occasionally talked about Amber Lynn in a couple videos here and there, but for the most part, Becky's just posted whatever they want on their channel, right? Posted, like, ASMR things, movie reviews, their favorite Kate Winslet movies, Things like that, like, I'm not saying that Becky hasn't brought up Amber Lynn at all, but for the most part, Becky has mostly, like, tried to move on from that situation type of deal, from my perspective. So a person posted on Becky's community tab and asked, are you going to respond to Amber's claims that you didn't take her bleeding seriously? And this was Becky's response. Everyone took it seriously. She didn't listen to any of us. She's the one who let fear get in the way. There's no making her do anything, not even her current partner. I'm tired of talking about her and I want to move on. That night she went to the ER. Yeah, at first I didn't take her seriously because everyone knows how she is. She herself said she has been a hypochondriac. As soon as I realized how bad it was, which was literally like 20 minutes after she even asked to go, I was all for it because it truly was the scariest thing to have witnessed what I did that night. If only she wouldn't have ignored people who actually cared about her. I have a handful and a half of people who also told her she needed to go to the gynecologist. The reason I have not said anything is first off, I want to be completely done with that part of my life. It's the past and does nothing for my present or future. Also, I've been very sick and before I got sick I was busy. I owe no one this explanation, but maybe she forgot. But we all did love and care about her. Seems it slipped her mind. Glad she recovered from that nightmare, but I'm done with it all. I've got a lot of hard stuff going on already. So I think that that seems like a very fair response from Becky. I think that, you know, Becky is speaking her truth. Uh, Amber Lynn has talked a lot about like, I, I deserve to be able to speak my truth. I deserve to be able to talk about my story. And I think here, like, Becky just basically responded to that truth because apparently part of Amber Lynn's truth and a part of her story is is how Becky was involved in it, right? So like I don't think it's unfair for Becky to also provide her opinion. I think that I think that that's fine if Becky wants to say, hey, this is what I experienced during that time. This was my perspective on it. It's, at the end of the day, hard to say what really happened in, in that situation, right? Because the only people to have experienced it were Becky and Amber Lynn and maybe, like, their friends and family around them in real life. Like, we didn't get to see these thoughts when they were happening because at the time, Amber Lynn presented a package of like, our relationship is great, Becky loves me, I love Becky, Becky is doing all these great and wonderful things for me. It's only been in recent history that Amber Lynn has come out and said like, oh, Becky didn't do X, Y, Z things, she could have been more concerned, whoever, whatever. And so I think it's fair for Becky to put out their perspective of what happened, but I don't know, like truly who knows what really happened. I, I could tell you that I would be inclined to agree with the things that Becky is saying, because like to me, this is a well thought out, considerate response. I, I think it 
is even still takes into account that they care about Amberlynn or cared about Amberlynn and are are happy that she is recovering from all of those things that happened. It's it's hard to say what really happened. I think this was an appropriate response to a lot of the nonsense that Amber Lynn has been saying, especially because, you know, I we're gonna see, because I'm gonna go through some of the Instagram stuff that's happened in like the past 24 hours especially after this came out. You're, you're gonna see that Amber Lynn feels like it's, like all of this is unfair, that, you know, people are biased, that they're picking sides, that they're whoever, whatever. I don't understand why Becky shouldn't be allowed to speak out about it if she wants to. Now, what I will say is honestly, truly, if I was Becky, I would just, like, if I'm really trying to move on, and this is feedback I've given Amber Lynn as well, right? But if I'm really just trying to move on and I don't want to talk about that, I think if Becky just never said anything about it, nobody would blame Becky for that, right? Like, I think as much as people might right now want a response, give it a week and people are going to move on, you know? And so I think if, if Becky's really trying to, like, move past it, I think the best thing for Becky to do is to just not say anything, you know? Because I have said to Amber Lynn, if you don't want to talk about your exes, you don't have to talk about your exes, right? Because <laughs> it's just gonna keep things going as you're gonna see from some of these responses from Miss Amber Lynn Reed on Instagram. I can't possibly catch every single thing <laughs> that Amber Lynn has posted, although I did have a long commute. I was going to see a friend that lives on like the whole other side of the city from me. So I was on a train yesterday and I was just screenshotting as I went. So I feel like I probably have more than I normally would have when it comes to crazy things that Amber Lynn Reed is saying on the Instagram today. But, you know, if I miss something, my apologies, because she literally has so much. So the first thing that I saw that was about Becky was a post where somebody said, did you see Becky called you a hypochondriac? You don't deserve that at all. Love you. Which I do think is an interesting thing to say because Becky said that Amber Lynn has called herself a hypochondriac in the past. Not that Becky, I mean, I guess that's implied that Becky agrees that Amberlynn might be a hypochondriac, but I'm just saying, like, Amberlynn has said it in the past, according to Becky. So anyways, here's Amberlynn's response. Yes, I saw it. Becky can do no wrong, though, in the eyes of my haters. Somehow, someway, I'm always the one who has to stay silenced while Becky can say whatever the hell she wants. They used to hate her just as much as they hated me. That switched real quick when they realized they can use Becky as a way to get tea about me. Pathetic group of people. Calling me a hypochondriac in the same situation where I bled for over two years. Wow. Stay classy. I think based on the things that we've seen from Amber Lynn Reed on her own channel, it's safe to say that, like, she gets worried about a lot of stuff and also, like, doesn't take action on a lot of stuff, you know? I mean, even just most recently, she was freaking out. You remember she freaked out about that bug bite on her hand, but then just, like, did nothing about it? It wouldn't be unreasonable to believe Becky about the hypochondria when, like, we've seen things from Amber Lynn's own channel, own content that would maybe support some of that. I also just want to focus a little bit on Amber Lynn saying that she's expected to stay silenced when like, girl, for the past two weeks, all you've been doing is running your mouth on Instagram and all you've been doing is talking about Becky. I mean, you've been talking about more than just Becky, but you know, like, you're the one that's been running your mouth. Becky would have probably said nothing had you not said anything to begin with. You know, I don't, I don't know why you think you're being silenced in some kind of way when you're the one that's running your mouth. You're the one that can't stop talking about it. Nobody's been silenced here. You've been raging on Instagram. Your voice is being heard, bestie. And just because people don't like what you have to say doesn't mean you're being silenced. Nobody has shut down your Instagram account. Nobody shut down your YouTube platform. You, in fact, are the one who has said, oh, I want to stop talking about my exes. I wish people would stop talking about my exes. But then you proceed to keep talking about your exes. I'm also not convinced people have always disliked Becky. I think from what I I remember from the very long period of time that Becky and Amberlynn dated, a lot of people really wanted better for Becky, really wanted Becky to get out of that relationship. I mean, my stance was always like, Becky is, is signed up for this. Like, Becky 
has continued to like co-sign this, has participated in it, like Becky can get out of this situation. But there were always people saying hashtag free Becky, hashtag free Becky. Becky has had supporters in this community for a long time. I mean, there have been times where people didn't like Becky and maybe like people didn't like her more in some instances than others. But to say that like nobody's ever liked Becky or that people always hated Becky is simply unfounded and not true. Like Becky has had supporters for a long time. So there was another question that said, you bring mad Becky different, I don't, I don't I think they meant you being. You being mad Becky defended herself after you blamed her for your diagnosis is so wrong. And Amber Lynn's response was, I never blamed her for my diagnoses. You fools take a few clickbaited lies from your beloved reaction channels and ran with it. I didn't blame her. I, I've i never blamed her. I'll never blame her. Stop fucking putting words in my mouth. And I wish she would not use this font because it is so hard to read. <laughs> it is like literally the worst font choice on Instagram. I swear to gosh, let alone like with that background, it's just very hard to read. So my apologies that I'm struggling. They don't believe that you think Becky is the reason you have cancer. Obviously Becky didn't put cancer into your body. People are saying that you implied that Becky could have done more to help treat your cancer and that you said you compared her to your current girlfriend, which is completely unfair. So you are missing the point that people are saying. Nobody, nobody realistically thinks that like Becky is somehow the reason you have cancer, but you did heavily imply that you would have gotten it taken care of sooner if your girlfriend was more concerned at the time. So let, let's not <laughs> let's not play dub Amber Lynn or rewrite write history of what happened. And then another person said, Becky said your anxiety stopped you from going to a doctor. She really did love you. And then Amber Lynn's response was, ha ha ha, I did go to a doctor and she knows I did. I went to a doctor in the same location as where my psychiatrist works. Anytime I went to a doctor, they ran tests and then automatically just assumed the bleeding, white cell count and pain was due to a UTI or kidney stones. They were wrong. Always fucking wrong. This is my story. My experience. The people invalidating it just for drama is fucking disgusting. Imagine someone treating your mother or child like this. Y'all stay mad and stay pathetic. I think what people said, or what Becky said specifically, is that you wouldn't go to a gynecologist, not like a general doctor. Becky's post suggested that you go see a gynecologist, which like, I don't know, maybe that's the kind of doctor you went and saw. I, from, from my understanding though here, it's not sounding like they were looking into the things that a gynecologist looks at. Again, also not my area of expertise, but it's just so wild. Like, I just... You're allowed to share your story, for sure. Please do. I 100% support you in that endeavor. I think that that's probably something that's really powerful for you to do. But when it comes to sharing your story and then, like, treating Becky like shit, like, you don't have... Those things are not mutually exclusive. You don't have to treat, like... Becky like shit in order to tell your story. And I think that's the part that people are frustrated about. Another person said, you insinuated she is the reason you didn't get help, which is what I was saying earlier. She has the right to respond to that. Amber Lynn said, if it was the other way around, which it was a couple of months ago and I was attacked for it, I'd be attacked again. Y'all are a joke and so blinded by your hatred for me. And honestly, because I don't keep up super well with Becky, I think, I'm not entirely sure what this is about, but I, if, if I'm correct, if my understanding is correct, I think Becky did make a video or something at some point about how her ex, i.e. Amber Lynn, wasn't super helpful or supportive when it came to like dealing with some of the issues that, that Becky was dealing with. I think that's what this is responding to. And I don't know, in some cases, I don't even know that those situations are entirely fair <laughs> to compare. I think that there's like more at play. I think that that's the thing that people are frustrated about is that Becky, we have seen evidence from Amber Lynn's own channel of all the ways that like Becky went out of her way to like support Amber Lynn and do all the things she could to help Amber Lynn. And now Amber Lynn's frustrated because 
Becky is sharing about experience that happened not on camera because Becky was not in charge of Amber Lynn's channel. And now Amber Lynn is trying to go back and say, well, Becky should have done this, Becky should have done that, Becky should have done this. And now Amber Lynn's frustrated that Becky's taking the chance to refute those claims, you know? And I think that that, like, even, even if what Amber Lynn says is true, like, Becky deserves to be able to, like, speak out about that, you know? And then somebody said, you're not being silenced. When you talk about someone, they can defend themselves. Again, that, that goes back to what I was saying earlier. Although I do agree that, like, maybe Becky should just, like, if she wants to move on, should just ignore it and not respond. I think Becky has a right to respond if she wants to. And Amber Lynn's response was, nah, I'm being silenced. The minute I mention my ex, people either harass me about it or tell me to shut up, or I'm called a liar, or they run to Becky. I can never share my experience about literally anything. Again, hard to read the text. <laughs> hard to read the text. And that's just so goofy. Nobody, you, you're, if you're still talking, you're not being silenced, bestie. If you're still going on about it, you're not being silenced. <laughs> Certainly, also, when you say something, people are going to respond. Like, that's how communication works. If you just expect to put something out into the ether and then nobody have any kind of response, you're setting yourself up for a bad time, you know? That's pretty much, I think the extent of the specific Instagram stories that Amber Lynn has made responding to Becky's post about all of this. I will say there's one more related to it, and then we I want to talk about a few other ones that she posted throughout the day that I just want to comment on because I find them interesting or I have thoughts to say about it. But one last one that is adjacently related to the Becky drama is somebody said, Alex is shook made a video about Becky with a clickbaiting title. What do you think? And oh, how rich it is, how foolish she makes herself look. <laughs> just like I said the other day, the other day I literally just said, I don't understand why she's constantly trying to compare me to Alex is shook when Alex is shook, I'm sure makes content that uh, also does not sit right with her. And this was her response. His new video pissed me off. Fuck him. It's clear he just wants drama and it's clear he's on Becky's side. There should be no side. My cancer story is mine. No one else's. Fuck Alex. And again, I have no beef with Alex, <laughs> truly, I don't. I'm just like, Alex is not out here making drastically different reaction content, Amber Lynn Reed content than most other people. And so I'm just like, oh girl, so now you see it, N now you're here. But also, again, I don't think it's about even anybody picking sides. I don't know that that's even what it's about, but certainly people are allowed to have their opinion on something you talked about publicly, right? And so if people are not siding with you, that's just the risk you take. Every, every day I post stuff here on the internet, on Al Gore's internet, and people don't agree with me. And, you know, as much as I like it or don't like it, that's just how the internet works. <laughs> you know, people are not always going to agree with you. So I appreciate you being vulnerable and sharing your story. But if you shit on somebody that other people like, then then you're going to have a bad time. I think that's generally my thoughts about the stuff with her and Becky, I, you know, I, I think really, truly for both of them, like, you want to move on from this? Stop talking about each other. How many times has Amber Lynn said she's not going to bring up Becky or whoever, whatever, or, or some of her exes or what? So many times. You don't want all this drama, bestie? Then, then move on. Which is funny because they're actually, she constantly is starting new question posts um, so she can use a different background or whatever. And on like one of the last ones she posted last night, she put, ask me questions, no drama, please. Please don't post any drama. It's just like, girl, you're picking these questions. You're picking these questions about Becky. You could just not say anything. Like I pointed out, you're not actually being silenced because you are saying stuff. Like, if you feel like you've spoken your piece about it, then move on. Just, just let's get to, let's get to, let's go. But like I said, there are a few other Instagram posts from her from last night that I just thought I would touch on because some of them involve me. Some of them I just think are funny. One, I guess people were saying that Homegirl was old looking or something. I don't really 
really fully understand, but somebody said, yep, don't let people shame you about aging. Aging is a blessing, being alive is a blessing. And Amberlynn said, exactly, especially after everything I've been through. I fucking beat cancer. I'm grateful for an aging face, which truly, there's nothing wrong with aging. But the reason I think this is so fucking funny is because in her video that I reacted to yesterday, she full on was going on about how old and bitter this woman looked that asked her a question on her post. And it's funny because the person who wrote that is actually a old woman. So I'm sorry, you're a very bitter old woman. So like, girl, <laughs> if you're getting upset about people calling you old, you got it coming, bestie. You can't be out here talking about how old people look and expect nobody to come for how old you look. I don't think Amberlynn looks that old, honestly, truly. I think she looks like what I would expect a 30-something year old person to look like, but you know, you you can't get mad about people calling you old after you just came for an old lady in your in your comments. The next post is in regards to her whole public pool thing. Uh, she said, or the person said, I'm poor as fuck and I wouldn't be caught dead in a public pool or library, LMFAO poop particles. And this is actually in response, there was a previous uh, Instagram story where somebody told her that they thought it was classist that she wouldn't use, like, public commodities or services like the library or the pool and thought it was disgusting. Um, and anyways, Amberlynn's response to this person was, yes, exactly. The thought of it creeps me out. And to Zachary Michael, who brought up me swimming in the lake, dot, 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 please do remember that this was four years ago and I've been invited for a lake swim since then several times and I've declined because it creeps me out. Now, please don't think I'm the same person as I was four years ago because that's just silly. And you know, it's it's hard. It's hard to not believe that she's the same person as four years ago when so little about who she is as a person has changed. But you know what? That's fine. I'm I will I will fold if we're playing poker, I will fold this hand because I'm not about to sit here and and say that there's anything wrong with this. If you think lakes are now creepy as well, then great. <laughs> Perfect. Wonderful. I love to see it. I will say there was also a person in my comments yesterday that also had some thoughts about this, and I think that their point was fair, so let me just share what they had to say. They said, Zach, you just recollected the time when Amberlynn, Becky, and Eric, and others got sick after swimming in the lake. Perhaps the reason why she now has a phobia about swimming in a public pool is because of her experience of getting sick after the lake. It's like you just go where your audience want you to go instead of just staying in your own truth. <laughs> when the audience give you grief for being too easy on Amberlynn Reed, in your next video, you get really harsh and condescending. You should have a mind of your own. Say what you mean and stand in your truth no matter who like it or not. Just something I notice. You know what? That's a perfectly fair point. Maybe Toxic Shock Lake really creeped her out and to the extent that she couldn't even go in a public pool. That's fine. I, I, like I said, I feel ya, uh, but, <laughs> but I also just like have to like, cause literally yesterday, I, the video before this one, okay, was me saying like, I just didn't want to talk about her health. And there were a few people who were like, you're too easy on her. You're too easy on her. And now apparently I'm too fucking condescending for perhaps suggesting that it was ironic to me that she loved to go swimming in a fucking toxic lake, but wouldn't go swimming in a public pool. I'm so sorry for being so, I just, I just can't, you know, I just, I'm either too harsh or too easy. Who knows? I honestly, truly, I just, like, need you all to know this. I do not come on here thinking, what does my audience want to hear? What does Amber Lynn want to hear? When this person says that I should stand in my truth, like, that is exactly the fuck what I'm doing <laughs> every day. And I honestly don't think that comparing me pointing out the thing about her fear of public pools can even be compared to me talking about, like, a serious health issue that she's having. Because those two things hold a very different weight in my mind when it comes to how I'm going to respond and react to it. 
I think her fear of public pools is like a little silly, but I do understand it at the end of the day. And that's why I'm going to respond to it in a different way than like her injuring herself because I don't like to like talk about or discuss other people's health issues, you know? So if you think that I'm just so flippy floppy, my apologies, but this is me standing in my truth right now at this moment. Another one I just want to point out is that somebody asked, did you really spend more money on your recent ex than you did on Becky or Destiny and I think this person was trying to get at a previous post where uh, Amber Lynn suggested that the person she spent the most on was her recent ex i.e. Becky and this person was pointing out that Amber Lynn has said that there was a person between Becky and wifey like current wifey even though I think we all agree that like that person and current wifey were all the same person and <laughs> Amber Lynn said, I don't even consider the rebound after Becky and X LMAO not worth my time. And it's just like, girl, why, why are we lying? Why are we lying about this, bestie? Why? 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 I want an answer. It's so silly at this point. Um, she also made a post about how she's been watching me a lot lately, so hello, Amber Lynn. But I think somebody made a good point, which was, I'm not hating, but why watch reaction channels if they're upsetting you? It seems bad for you. And then she said, I also frustrate and make reaction channels mad. That's why they watch me. I upset them. Their whole video is negative. Shouldn't you be asking them the same questions? I think I've, I've mentioned, I enjoy watching Amber Lynn Reed. I, I <laughs> like, do I find some of the things she does like annoying or frustrating? Sure, <laughs> sure. But that's also what I love about them. So uh, just, just to answer her question, since she's probably watching like, that that's why I watch. I am kind of confused why you've been spending so much time watching me lately. Like it's clearly not like a good time for your your mental health space, and you're you're getting really upset on Instagram about all kinds of things. Me, Alex is shook. Becky, like like I, I feel like it's time to find something else to do with your time, especially since like your your mobility is limited. Like getting caught in this cycle of getting frustrated about the things you read about yourself on the internet is not helpful. I mean, I I purposely don't go watch things about me or read things about me because I don't want to know. Like, I do read my comments, so if you want to talk shit there, I'll probably <laughs> read it. But I'm not seeking it outside of my own space. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I think that's it as far as the Instagram Becky drama goes for me today. I don't know. Tell me what your thoughts are down below. I personally don't know that I'm prepared to side with anybody, but I definitely think Becky has a right to respond to the nonsense that Amber Lynn has put out. And I do think the way that Amber Lynn has talked about Becky has been really rude and inconsiderate, especially the parts where she previously compared Becky to her current girlfriend, which is unfair because her current girlfriend wasn't even in the picture at the time. So who knows what she would have actually done. Like I said, she can't even keep like a KFC bowl away from Amberlynn, let alone like force her to go to a doctor, you know? So it's just, that part's really silly to me. And I think even if she wanted to talk about uh, how Becky did or didn't help her at the time. She could have done all of that without like making an unfair comparison to her current girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, that's all I have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this little chat, this little kiki. This went way longer than I anticipated. <laughs> I always want to do these little Instagram updates and just do them real quick and then I, I ramble and I talk too much. So let me see what I can cut out of this one. Probably not a lot. But if you're new and you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to also leave a comment, hit like, click share, follow me on my social media, my gaming channel, my Twitch channel, check out my merch, and above all else, I hope you have a wonderful, exciting, amazing day. Bye!